This week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM and Bison's TV, we're doing a little simulcast. We're talking with a head coach of Bison football, Brian Doby, in his 21st season, and head coach of Bison swimming, Vlastic Cherney, in his 24th season. Combined, that's 45 years of being at the University of Manitoba. It's pretty good math, huh? It's really good math because I, I was checking. You're, you're correct. <laughs> restored my faith in the uh, Canadian education. There yeah. you go. Well, that's a good way to start this yeah. interview here. Let's go with Vlastic first. Uh, we had a press conference earlier this week, announced two big recruits on the one on the men's side, one on the women's side. Just talk about uh, the importance of that and sort of where they came from to get to the senior uh, level. Yeah, they're very high level recruits and will be an immediate impact uh, on both teams, men's and women's teams. Um, both uh, both background is similar. Alex is about a year ahead. Uh, they were both part of our Junior Bison uh, developmental program and our club program. Alex went via University of Calgary one year and now he's back with our team and uh, will be an instant uh, performer for the men's team. And uh, Kelsey, uh, obviously a high-level swimmer uh, on the national team, will be an immediate impact uh, performance-wise. Uh, now, I'm going to get into Bison football in a second, but I actually wanted to talk to you guys a little bit here. You guys have old veterans on the we old are. coaching line here. 14 uh, years, right? No, 24. 24, yeah. I see. I don't want to age you. You probably started at 18, mm -hmm. but you know. Well, no, actually, Bentley, I think, was the only one who started yeah. at 18 here. Yeah, but, but, you know, interesting about this is, uh, what, are, what you know, as you guys have been coaches for, you know, two-plus decades, what's 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 the biggest change that you, you've sort of realized, like, uh, in your kind of coaching sphere? Is it recruiting? Is it is it uh, the athletes themselves? Is it a little bit of combination? Is it, wh what would you think that you've seen that has really changed? change maybe drastically since when you started way back when well for me you, you led me right down the path I mean uh, recruiting and uh, and training uh, recruiting certainly in our sport I think across the CIS in all sports uh, but football um, football it's it's dramatically changed there was no national recruiting done back in the day uh, in fact, there was literally rules in place uh, not long before I came here. Where Did you, you change the rules? Nope. But where you literally uh, had, you could only literally go out and recruit regionally, like within your region. Th there were rules in place for that. Uh, of course, that sounds that, un-Canadian. It, so it sounds unconstitutional or something. <laughs> but they, but um, you know that obviously changed and. Uh, uh, but but people weren't national recruiting, and and once that once that erupted, uh, it, the game changed. Recruiting now is very, as I as I always try to say, very NCAA ish without the resources, and uh, <laughs> it, it's so competitive, so competitive. For me, that's the number one change, and then the uh, the the athletes themselves, uh, training. You know, almost everybody I train goes to an academy, goes to a personal trainer, goes to, you, you know, it's that, it's that kind of deal. Uh, the athletes coming out now are way ahead of the curve than they were, say, 20 years ago, uh, dramatically ahead. They, they, it, it's, it's about competition, and they, they see others around them getting it done. Their, their hand is forced. They, they have to step in and, and, and do the same kind of training or, or, or better. Uh, there's always a faster gun out there and I think that's all part of it. So uh, to me, those are the two biggest changes. Vlasic, would you concur about sort of what Brian's talking about? Or is he totally off base? Uh, he's way off, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, each sport will be slightly different. But, um, you know, the athletes coming up uh, at a different level, that, that goes on without saying uh, our sport, uh, be it the international level or the uh, CIS level, uh, swimmers are stronger, fitter, they, they're swimming faster than uh, they did 20 years ago. Uh, our standard for CIS championships uh, consistently moves to a faster and higher level. And so that, that has certainly changed. Uh, women uh, in CIS particularly have, have changed. The, uh, there's more depth than there was when I first started. Uh, and, uh, and the performances overall are up, whether it's uh, fewer women going down to the U.S. and staying in Canada, that could be one of them. 
So that's uh, that's the biggest change performance-wise. And then the other piece for me, I'm I've changed. I'm a different coach than I used to be 20 years ago. Well, first of all, you're slimmer. That that uh, not <laughs> quite, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I've changed, you know, whether it's my communication style, whether it's my direct, more direct approach, whether it's my filter getting weaker with every year. <laughs> uh, You're getting softer, aren't you, with your old age? And the training protocol certainly uh, shifting away from traditional high volume training to high intensity training and more gym time to develop better athletes. Um, so that that is a big change for me. And I think that's coming uh, for the rest of the country as well. Talking with uh, both head coaches, Brian Doby with Bison Football, uh, Vlasic Turning with Bison Swimming, 24 years and 21 years. Uh, it doesn't get any easier for the Bison football team. You guys want two straight. You want to make it three this weekend. But it's the CIS defending champions. And they might be smarting from a 50-7 to seven, uh, win that you had in the preseason. I know it's just preseason, but they're on a, they had a nice win uh, at Alberta's homecoming uh, of a huge number. Uh, but this is two and two teams both going at each other this Friday. Yeah. Uh, what can you uh, you expect, and will you actually have enough healthy bodies to be starters this year or this week? Well, first of all, UBC. You know, we we go onto the island, play an exhibition game, start the year. We beat them fifty to seven. Don't poke the hornet's nest, you know. Um, so it's too late. It's last weekend they they hammer Alberta sixty-two to nothing. So they they they. <laughs> They have risen from the ashes, if, if that's what uh, you know anybody's inferring in terms of that exhibition win. It was an exhibition game. Um, it, was, it was great for us, for obvious reasons, but uh, that's what it was. That's all it was. It's, you're right, we're, we're, in the, we're in the mix. They're in the mix. It's two and two. They're the national champions. And they're the national champion, champions until or if somebody takes it away from them. There's more to winning a national championship than just having good players and just having good coaches and and good systems in place. It's um, people think that people don't understand what it takes unless you've unless you've done it, and and UBC did it. Um, they understand what it takes to be in a lead in the game and hold that lead, uh, to face adversity, to come from behind, to win games, um, to fight all the way to the end and get and get a big giant juicy ring of an, uh, that comes with the national championship. The intrinsics that they have in their program get honed and developed because of that. So that's who who we're facing. I, they they're they're dangerous more than most teams because because of that national championship experience and run. So we're going in there and yes, we are down a lot of players. Um, from our starting lineup in game one, we're down nine starters. It's crazy. That, that seems like a lot. It's I've never experienced anything like this in 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 four games ever in forty two years of coaching. The silver lining is um, we're winning. Players, uh, we're winning, and players uh, players who are, were in backup roles are, have stepped in and and stepped up, uh, which says a lot about their abilities. It says even more about their character. And uh, I, I like our team. It's a character team. I don't know how it's all going to turn out at the end, but you know this team has has grit and has fight, and proud of them. And lastly, here at the Vlasic Tourney, we, we talked about Alex Shogolev and Kelsey Wog, but how special are both of these guys going to be, hopefully, in their next four or five years here at University of Manitoba? I think both are going to be consistent uh, medalists at CIS Championships, so it's a great exposure for the program, great motivator for other uh, team members, and uh, certainly in Kelsey's uh, uh, situation. She is coming in pretty much as a CIS champion. She's a top dog at the, that level. So uh, she, she might be. She might be one of the best af after five years. If she stays around, maybe one of the best bison swimmers in history. Uh, she certainly uh, the, the, no uh, pressure on her, right? No, no, no pressure, and you know I've have enough twenty four years of experience to be able to handle it. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> fair, well said. fair enough. There. Well, said. well, Bison football, all the best this weekend. You can watch on CanadaWest.tv and all the details and go Bison.ca. Bison swimming starts up at the end of October. There, what do you do before then? Uh, we're just uh, really uh, getting them in shape and preparing uh, to uh, be a race ready. Be race they ready. Swim. 
<laughs> That's right, swim. Brian. Brian's very good. He's stating the obvious. Yeah. Swimming team swims. Very good. Yes. Football teams play football. Okay. And on that note, we'll leave it at that. Brian Doby and Plastic Journey, all the best this season. We'll talk to you as we go down the road here and get all the details on GoBison.ca. And you're listening to This Week in Bison Sports and watching on Bison's TV on 101.5 UMFM.